Welcome to Otherworldly Myths and Tales. In this video, we delve into the depths of the Great White North and take a spine-tingling journey into the dark heart of Canadian folklore. From the haunting shores of the Atlantic to the whispering forests of the Pacific, Canada's rich tapestry of folklore is woven with legends that defy explanation and send shivers down the bravest of spines. These stories are more than just myths. They are windows into the collective fears, mysteries, and untamed wilderness that define this vast and enigmatic land. So, join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of five spooky Canadian folklore entities that refuse to be forgotten. Prepare to be intrigued, unsettled, and utterly captivated by the tales of these spectral beings whose legends continue to endure in the annals of Canadian history and lore. Deep within the shadowy forests of French Canada, a chilling creature of folklore roams. It is known by many names, but most commonly, it is called the Loup Garou, a creature of darkness and dread. The legend of the Loup Garou traces its roots to the folklore of the French Canadian settlers of the Quebec region. The name Loup Garou translates to werewolf in English. It is a uniquely terrifying entity, blending the supernatural with the natural world. One of the most chilling aspects of the Loup Garou legend is its transformation. It is said that those afflicted with this curse become monstrous beasts, often described as half human, half wolf with blood-red eyes that pierce the darkest of nights. As the moon rises and the night deepens, the Loup Garou emerges from its hiding place. It prowls the wilderness of French Canada, searching for prey. Throughout history, stories abound of terrified villagers and settlers who lived in constant fear of the Loup Garou's curse. It was believed that even a single bite from this creature could pass on the curse, dooming its victim to a life of transformation and terror. The people of these regions took precautions to ward off the Loup Garou, from wearing garlic and wolfbane to performing rituals and prayers meant to keep the creature at bay. But to this day, the Loup Garou remains an unsolved mystery an enigma that defies rational explanation. Is it merely a product of superstition and fear? Or is there a supernatural force at play in the depths of the forests? The Loup Garou is a testament to the enduring power of folklore, a creature that continues to haunt the imaginations of those who venture into the dark and mysterious corners of the world. In the heart of historic Halifax, Nova Scotia, there stands a church shrouded in mystery. St. Paul's Anglican Church, one of the oldest in Canada, holds within its ancient walls a chilling secret, an entity known as the Ghost of St. Paul's. St. Paul's Anglican Church, consecrated in 1750, bears witness to centuries of history. It has seen wars, fires, and the passing of countless souls. And some say the echoes of the past still linger within its hallowed halls. The tale of the church's ghost dates back to the early 19th century, when a tragic event forever marked its history. 
During the 1917 Halifax explosion, the church's windows shattered, and a beam from the steeple impaled the pew where a young bride sat, instantly ending her life. It is said that the restless spirit of this young bride still haunts the church. Dressed in her wedding gown, she appears as the bride in white, wandering the aisles in search of her lost love, or perhaps seeking a peaceful resolution to her tragic fate. Witnesses have reported ghostly apparitions, mysterious footsteps, and chilling whispers echoing through the pews. Some claim to have felt an icy presence or seen the flickering of candle flames without any wind. As the years passed, the legends and lore of the ghosts of St. Paul's grew. Local tour guides regale visitors with tales of eerie encounters, and paranormal investigators have sought to uncover the truth behind the spectral sightings. Historical records contain accounts of seances and attempts to communicate with the ghost, all shrouded in uncertainty and mystery. The ghost of St. Paul's remains elusive, leaving more questions than answers. The ghost of St. Paul's, whether a manifestation of history or a restless spirit, continues to defy explanation. Is it the embodiment of a tragic love story or a reminder of the church's enduring connection to the past? As long as St. Paul's Anglican Church stands in Halifax's historic landscape, the legend of this chilling specter will endure. It reminds us that even in the hallowed halls of faith, the shadows of the past may linger, forever haunting the living with their unanswered mysteries. In the chilling depths of Canada's wilderness, a legend as ancient as the land itself casts a long, icy shadow. It is the legend of the Wendigo, a creature of darkness, hunger, and despair. The legend of the Wendigo traces its roots to the indigenous peoples of Canada, particularly the Algonquin-speaking tribes. It is believed to have originated as a cautionary tale, a warning against the dangers of cannibalism and greed in the harsh winter months. The Wendigo, in its most horrifying form, is described as a towering, emaciated figure with mottled, decaying flesh, long, bony limbs, and sunken, malevolent eyes. It is said to possess an insatiable hunger for human flesh. According to legend, when a person resorts to cannibalism, the Wendigo spirit possesses them, transforming them into a monstrous creature consumed by an unquenchable appetite for human flesh. The afflicted person is said to be driven mad by this insatiable hunger. Wendigos are said to haunt remote, snowy wilderness areas, emerging during the harsh winter months when food is scarce and desperation takes hold. Their eerie calls are believed to chill the blood of those who hear them. The legend of the Wendigo has transcended time and culture, becoming a staple of ghost stories, campfire tales, and horror fiction. It has terrified generations with its portrayal of an evil force that lingers in the untamed wilderness. In popular culture, the Wendigo has become a symbol of human greed and the darkness that lurks within us all, a reflection of the terrifying consequences of unchecked desires. The Wendigo, whether a product of folklore or something more sinister, continues to haunt our imagination. It serves as a chilling reminder of the fears that lie dormant in the wilderness and the depths of our own souls. 
As long as the vast, remote landscapes of Canada remain untouched, the legend of the Wendigo will endure, whispering its warning of the insatiable darkness that can consume us all. In the heart of British Columbia, Canada, nestled within the pristine waters of Okanagan Lake, lurks a creature of chilling mystery and dread. It is known as the Ogopogo, and its legend has haunted the region for centuries. The story of the Ogopogo, a tale of eerie encounters and unexplained phenomena, is not just a story. It is a chilling mystery that continues to perplex even the most skeptical minds. The legend of the Ogopogo dates back centuries among the indigenous Sail people who spoke of a water spirit that inhabited the lake's depths. In the late 19th century, European settlers began to report their own encounters with a creature that resembled a massive serpent-like beast. The locals soon began calling it Ogopogo after a popular music hall tune. One of the most chilling accounts comes from 1926, when a witness described a horrifying sighting. He claimed to have witnessed a colossal, humpbacked creature undulating through the water, its reptilian head emerging briefly, glistening in the moonlight. In 1968, a respected underwater archaeologist detected a mysterious sonar reflective object in the lake's depths. It moved in ways uncharacteristic of any known aquatic life, leaving him perplexed and unnerved. Countless campers and tourists have recounted their own spine-tingling experiences, from unexplained photographs of serpentine shapes to unexplicable sonar readings all pointing to the presence of an elusive and enigmatic entity. But perhaps the most terrifying aspect of the Ogopogo legend is the sense of fear it instills in those who dare to venture near Okanagan Lake. The lingering dread that, at any moment, the waters could reveal the grotesque form of the beast itself. And so, the legend of the Ogopogo endures a chilling mystery that defies scientific explanation. Is it a relic of prehistoric times? A forgotten species lurking in the dark depths? Or simply a product of imagination and fear? The next time you find yourself by the shores of Okanagan Lake, remember the spine-tingling stories of those who encountered the Ogopogo, and know that some mysteries even in our modern age, remain unsolved and deeply unsettling. In the murky waters of the Northumberland Strait in eastern Canada, a ghostly vessel from another era haunts the imagination of sailors and storytellers alike. It is known as the Ghost Ship of the Northumberland Strait, a spectral mystery that defies the boundary of time and space. The legend of the Ghost Ship dates back to the early 19th century when it was first reported by sailors navigating the treacherous waters of the Northumberland Strait. The ship, a spectral schooner, was often described as appearing out of thin air on moonless, foggy nights. Witnesses told of a ghostly crew aboard the vessel, their faces pale and etched with anguish. They claim to hear eerie, mournful cries carried on the wind, as if the very souls of the damned were trapped aboard the phantom ship. Over the decades, the sightings of the ghost ship persisted. Sailors spoke of witnessing the spectral vessel collide with other ships or vanish into thin air, leaving only a lingering sense of dread in its wake. 
Even attempts to approach the ghostly schooner were met with terror, as it would vanish at the last moment, leaving those who dared to chase it in a state of bafflement and fear. Intriguingly, historical research has revealed that there were indeed vessels lost in the Northumberland Strait during the 19th century, their crews vanishing without a trace. Some believe that these real-life tragedies have become intertwined with the supernatural tales of the ghost ship. Is the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait a manifestation of these lost souls, forever condemned to sail the waters, seeking release from their maritime purgatory? To this day, the mystery of the ghost ship remains unsolved. Is it a mere figment of sailors' imagination? a product of atmospheric conditions and fatigue? Or is there a supernatural force at play in the waters of the Northumberland Strait? The ghost ship of the Northumberland Strait, a mystery that continues to haunt our maritime history, a phantom vessel that challenges our understanding of the mysterious forces that govern our world. As long as the waters of the Northumberland Strait persist, the legend of this ghostly schooner will endure, a chilling reminder of the maritime mysteries that continue to baffle and terrify those who dare to sail these haunted seas. From the chilling depths of the Okanagan Lake to the spectral waters of the Northumberland Strait, these stories remind us that the mysteries of the world are as boundless as our imaginations. As we conclude our journey through these haunting tales, we hope you've been captivated, inspired, and perhaps even a little bit spooked by the enduring legends of Canada. These stories are more than just ghostly myths. They are threads that connect us to the past, to the land, and to the unknown. But our exploration doesn't end here. Stay tuned for more intriguing stories, mysteries, and enigmas from around the world. There are countless other tales waiting to be told, mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and legends waiting to be shared. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out when we release new content. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the spine-chilling realms of Canadian folklore. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the unknown.